My palms are a mess. I hear it all the time and it looks like termite damage, doesn't it? But it's also the topic of our two minute piss. And Celeste, that looks like a lot of debris there. You know, a lot of times you can just see this kind of damage from, from the road as you're driving down, yeah, you see me, a palm. Let me show you what it looks like when you're looking at it from this oh, side here. That's and what you see and coming you'll down the road. Now this is a Chinese fan palm, Chinese right? fan palm, yep. And they're one of the most susceptible? I see it on the Chinese fan palms all the time. I see it on the palms, uh, saw palmetto, which is a native palm, but I don't see it on a regular state tree, the cabbage palm, very much. Yeah, and you don't see it on the feather ones like the no. Canary Island date palms too much. No, I don't see it on European fan all. palm, but in my landscape, I guarantee I can find palm oh. leaf skeletonizer any time. Let's take a look at this side yeah, here. Yeah, because this is some nasty looking stuff, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, you know, there's a little insect going in between. We, we forced one out a little earlier and he, he lives down in this area here and he just uh, tunnels. What do we call it? Uh, leaf miner? Yeah, it's a leaf miner at that stage and then comes into a caterpillar stage, but it creates all this frass or, know. you know, to cover itself and keep itself protected, similar to termites. Yeah, it looks just like termite damage, actually, and most people wouldn't think this is a leaf miner type insect, but it is, and we often see it on the palms. Now, what are we going to do about it? Well, really, you know, it'd be difficult to spray a large palm, especially a really tall one like a Washingtonia. Yeah. So you probably are just going to cut the leaves off when they get damaged. Yeah, I'm going to cut them off. There are some systemic products. Like you said, you could spray it, but probably you don't want to do that. Uh, uh, just cut them off, and normally it'll keep it down to a fairly low level. But it really messes the palms up, that's for sure. It makes them look fairly bad, that's for sure. Yeah. And sometimes it's just minor damage when it first is starting, but then it progresses. And usually you don't notice it till it's at this stage. Yeah, so like I say at home, I tell the kids, why don't you just deal with it?